How to Sing Like Axl Rose. Hey, this is Chris Lipe, and we're going to dive into Axl's style using, I think, 12 different short studio clips from some of Guns N' Roses' most awesome songs. Axel is diverse, and I'll just say this. If Chris Cornell's root silly sound is a dying cat, Axel's is a strangled goose. <laughs> and I'll unpack that as we, as we get a little bit further into, into this. If you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on those notifications so that you get to see the videos as they come out. Axel's sound is built on a wide-ranging mixed voice and something we've talked about before in the context of Freddie Mercury, which I call Crow. I'm not the first person to call it Crow, uh, but Axel's Crow does go more to the strangled goose sound, as I'll demonstrate more. But when we're going for the style of Axel Rose, we want to think thin and nasal. Nasal is king and thin, especially starting thin and then beefing it up a little bit is going to help us capture the essence of Axel. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when trying to get any of these, you know, higher, thinner, whinier sounding 80s vocalists is they try to go too thick and chesty right from the get go and then wonder why they burn out when they're singing high. I just did a video on this on the channel, how to sing higher, longer, that will help you uh, dial in this sort of sound and be able to do it over long periods of time. That said, with Axel, with any of these sing like videos, if you don't have the fundamentals of breath support, compression, understanding how to approach notes and think down on notes, if you don't understand these concepts and you haven't developed them in your own singing already, it's going to be very difficult for you to track with many of the things that I do in a lesson like this. If you want a better handle on those things, be sure to click the link below and join my free vocal course. You'll be able to explore those fundamental techniques and mindsets and a whole lot more. You know where you are! You're in the jungle, baby! Alrighty, first example. Listen to how he opens up to his vowels. Bright, bright blue, bright blue sky. Bright blue sky. Bright blue sky. Let's work on placement a little bit. Get that resonance closer to what Axel's doing. Again, not for the point of imitating but for being inspired and seeing what attempting to do some of the things that they do with the right approach does with our own voices. So what we're, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hold the, the sort of an I. Ah! I guess it starts with an ah, but then we're going to close it. I. Okay. So I. we're going to lower our soft palate. Hmm. We're going to raise the back of our tongue and we're going to make an ng sound. Ng, fishing, ng, fishing, okay? So we're closing up there and we're directing all of the sound through our nose. Ng, ng, ng. At the same time, ng, ng, ng. we're going to raise our larynx up and create this honk, ng, ng, honk, honk. There's so much going through our nose right now. We're going to smile while we're doing it. Bright blue sky. Sky. Honk. Honk. Oh, oh, oh. That's kind of the sound, the, the, the bedrock placement that we're going to be working with. So let's take this line again. Now, even though we're approaching it from that extreme, ah, bright blue sky, we're going to lower things a little bit so it's not quite so extreme over this line. Now, there's other parts, especially it goes higher, 
where that honk or that strangled goose comes out even more. Bright blue sky. Bright blue sky. And not bright blue sky. Bright blue sky. Now we're also going to add compression right to the verge of breakup, not bright blue sky. Not that. Bright blue, bright, bright, bright blue sky. You should be pushing decently hard from your support, your poop muscles, bearing down while letting the sound go up, as opposed to trying to get your energy from here and here. Next. Okay, now here, particularly on that, oh! he's really got that, that nasal, thin, crow-like sound. It's not, ah! it's not that, it's, ah! okay, let's approach those notes. I can't stress enough how important it is to be thin first. Oh, 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 especially as he's stopping those notes. Oh, 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 oh. Don't worry about trying to get breakup initially. Just worry about getting the pitches and honing in on how he does that attack. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Don't worry if your pitch varies a little bit, if you crack a little bit. As you're honing it in, you'll discover what works with your voice and be able to, to do it in a way that feels more natural to you. Whoa! Oh, oh. Whoa! You can really hear that crow. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, 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 sweet child! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Cool stuff. Next. Okay, he's in his lower register here. He never really breaks this crawl. Oh, oh, never really breaks that. Other singers like, you know, Cornell really mellows out. Um, lots of these guys, when they get into their lower registers, they, they, they take on a, a, a different persona, which I think is kind of neat. Axel doesn't really do that. He can't. Oh, oh. Oh, where do we go? Oh, 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 where do we go now? Oh, where do we go now? Now, now, it's almost theatrical. Oh, where do we go now? Honk, honk, ha. Oh, where do we go now? Oh, 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 oh. But we take, if we can ground ourselves in what he's doing here lower, and then make sure that we are clean with that same sort of placement, we're going to have a lot of success as we escalate higher. Oh, where do we go? Where do we go now? Next. I, 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 He's in chest, but he still has that. Notice I had you start with this very thing. I, 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 compressed. I, 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 I. And experimenting with this while channeling Axel is what will really help you get into that aggressive groove that will help you hit the higher. Uh, more playful stuff. This in and of itself is quite playful. But let's see how extreme we can be with this. I I I I I I I I I I I Where do we go now? I I I I I I I I I I I I I So much you can do without really tensing up at all to manipulate that tone and place it differently into that Axel type sound. 
next. Probably one of the most recognizable axolisms ever. He is agile, and at the same time, it's it's just got this extra awesome whine to it. Where do we go? It's not a Although that doesn't sound too bad, it's much further back. It's more through the nose as well. Ah, there it is! There it is! Yeah! Child! Ah, child! Yeah, child of mine! Next. If you've got no money, honey. If you've got no money, honey. Now, there's something very key here. He does sort of break what we've been talking about here. If you've got no money, honey. He's not money, honey, money. He does go to the A. If you If you've got no, if you've got no money, honey. So he is dropping his larynx a little bit in that vowel formation, and it it is less choked there. Although he is using more compression, compression to the point of breakup. If you've got no money, honey, no. If you if you've got no money, 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 honey. If you've got no money, honey. It's a cool sound, and bringing that in and combining it with some of this other stuff that he does adds a little bit of variety and tonal variation that unless you listen for really closely you just lump it into the rest of axle zone next you can't do axle without doing what a great uh warm up <laughs> Get that placement right. Practice it lower. Practice that. Crawl. Mix. Push. Bear down even more. If you want help developing your mix and accessing your mix, I've done tons of videos on the channel about it. So be sure to search the channel and you'll find lots of different ways to approach your mix. Now, what's neat about this is and we'll do more of this in a minute, but we are going to be in this gritty, chesty mix. And then we're going to flip up into our head voice. Knees! But we're going to push. We're going to push to the point and use enough compression that we're going to work through the break instead of hear the break. Knees! 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 It gives you freedom to not be tapped out on your pitch. We're not going knees, knees, knees. It actually cleans up as we go higher. That's because we're transitioning to a more pure head voice there. Next. <laughs> and again, here, just some great sound effects. Uh, 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 chest. Uh. This is the more obvious version of what he's doing with that na 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 knees knees Na 
na na na na na na knees, knees. Next. You know where you are. Now, you know if you've been watching this channel, I love spoken examples in the middle of these because they really give us a chance to get placement and hear things and try things in a way that doesn't bind us to particular notes. And so if this kind of stuff is new to you, uh, you don't have that pressure. You know where you are! You know where you are! You know where you are! Try it somewhere else in your range, but try to get that general sound. This is a mixed sound. You don't hear a guy talking like that normally unless he's shouting in mix. I did a whole video on this in my in the style of Zach De La Rocha from Rage Against the Machine. You know where you are! You know where you are! You're in the jungle, baby! You're in the jungle, baby! Experiment with compression. Ah, you know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby! Yeah! You know where you are? You know where you are? Have a little conversation. You're in the jungle, baby! You're going down! You're in the jungle, baby! Experiment getting that tone. That's that cry. Ah, you're in the jungle! That's that crow sound taken to an extreme with as much chest as possible brought into it. As much chest. And we get there by moderating compression. Compression is a huge, huge part of this. Because as I add more compression, I let air through more sporadically and less consistently. I push harder, hold more air back. You're in the jungle, baby! Next. Uh, one of Axel's things is these sort of fast, uh, middle mix sort of high uh, phrases. Turn me around and take me back to the star! Turn me around and take me back to the star! 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 Turn me around and take me, turn me around and take me back to the star! There's a lot of exaggeration. Turn me around and take me back to the star! No. Turn me around and take me back to the star! You can hear his mouth opening and getting out of the way with these other things that we've talked about. And listen to star! Star! Is incredibly crowish. Turn me around and take me back to the star! Turn me around and take me back to the star! Turn me around and take me back to the star! Yeah. Turn me around and take me back! Turn me around and take me back! Next. Take me home. Notice how he slides on this one. It, it's an opportunity for us to not move a lot and really focus on that nasal quality, that nasal thin quality with a bit of compression. Take me home. Save me home, yeah. Save me home, yeah. Please save me home. Not home. It's very hard. Please save me home, yeah. Next. Okay. I wanna go! Now you've heard me talk about this kind of stuff before. When we go for those high notes, that's a high note. Ah! We wanna get there really any way that we can and cleanly. And then as we go down, as we descend the line, be conscious of that, that crow, meaning that hyper nasal, thin, yet compressed placement. We don't necessarily need to think that way when we're hitting that high note. He's not. Listen. Ah! Ah! It's just, just sort of happens for him. I wanna know! Go. I wanna go! Then we add that compression, add that placement as we're descending the line. This helps us not get tied up in focusing on, oh, I gotta hit that pitch with a lot of grit and a lot of... We, 
He's not. You don't need to either. Don't pressure yourself with a line like this. If you liked this video, you'll love my breakdown of Freddie Mercury's style. He's in the In the Style of playlist where there's all sorts of other guys that I've covered. But there's a lot of uh, similarities, really, between Freddie's style and Axel's style if you, <laughs> you kind of know where to look. And I'll help you do that. So be sure to check out that video. And again, if you want more help developing the fundamentals that are going to help you get to this point where you can infuse what you're hearing in other voices into your own voice, be sure to click the link below and join my free vocal course. Let me know what other artists you'd like me to do, and we'll see you for more.